As you may know, Maya is one of the best 3D programs because it is considered the industry standard for filmmaking and game development. It specializes in modeling, rigging, animation, and texturing. However, when it comes to texturing, the UV workflow that comes with Maya is a bit limited and doesn't have interesting options to speed up the workflow. It is not very fun for most 3D artists, especially for complex 3D models. It could be overwhelming and time-consuming. However, today we're gonna talk about one of the most amazing plugins for Maya that you can use to save yourself a lot of headaches, and that is UV Packmaster 3. Before we talk about this plugin, why would you need a packer for your UV mapping tasks in the first place? Well, let's say you are preparing your 3D model for texturing or rendering. In this case, you would need to pack your UVs and align them according to your visual plan. It could be easier if you're working on a simple 3D model, but how about a complex one? You would need to pack and align your islands manually inside Maya, since the packing and aligning tools are not very interesting. That's why UV Packmaster is gonna be great if you are a Maya user. When it comes to packing, you can pack all the UV shells in the UV space in no time, using the default options. You can actually increase and decrease the space between the shells in the margin option. With UV Packmaster, you can set the distance precisely in the pixels of the texture, and you can also set the distance between islands and texture borders independently, which can be really useful. But this is not everything. You can have more precision over the island placement by setting the precision value. However, this can take more time during the packing. For more fun packing, you can check the lock overlapping. This will treat the overlapped UV shells as one single shell and pack them together in the UV space as soon as they overlap by any part. That is, if you choose the any part mode. But for more precision, use the exact mode, and in that mode, the packer will lock islands only if they cover the exact same space in the UV space, meaning they can be placed on top of each other. Also note that you can easily stack similar islands on top of each other using the packer stacking functionalities presented later in the video, and this will pack the similar UV shells in the UV space without splitting them. But with UV Packmaster, you can lock the island positions, I mean relative positions, not only for overlapping islands, but for any islands by assigning them to the same lock group. Such islands will maintain their relative positions during packing even if they do not overlap with each other. Another interesting feature is called Heuristic Search. Here, you give the packer the option to search for the best result. Once you check it, it reduces a series of iterations trying to look for the best UV packing. The results will be displayed in the statistics box where you can see the greater performance the packer could reach during the search after you stop the process manually. You can also limit the time search to seconds in the search time option or in the max wait time. The heuristic search process is very efficient in finding the optional packing result as it uses all the CPU cores and all the GPUs in the system simultaneously for iterating. Now, if you have a smaller number of UV shells, check the advanced heuristic search and better results will be applied during the UV packing. The packer also comes with a handy option for island grouping, using an automatic or manual method for grouping. When selecting the groups to tiles as a packing mode, you can pack the UV tiles based on the material by choosing the materials option in the grouping method. And you can pack them based on their mesh separation. You can do this on their object or the tile in the UV space. In addition, you can work with the grouping scheme manual for more control over the UV islands. It allows you to create a group or more for the UV packing plan. So select particular UV shells and assign them to your group in the scheme's group box. Each group can be packed into any number of tiles. Then you can name them or color them however you want. And once you pack them, they appear organized and grouped in the UV tiles with the name and the color that you have selected. Once you select the grouping scheme manual, the menu option is added to the group layout mode. Now click on edit scheme target boxes, and this will allow you to manipulate the UV boxes freely. You can reposition them using the arrows or manually with the left mouse and you can configure a group to be packed into any number of boxes and choose a shape and position for every such box independently. Now, when you are working in the groups to tile mode, you should consider how you want the packer to process your textile density during the packing. 
So choose the independent option if you want your UV shells to occupy much space in a given tile independently. Or the uniform option if you want them to maintain the scale uniformly during the packing. You can also run the automatic mode or customize it in the Texel Density cluster. This is applied to all grouping methods in this mode. And you can also override the global packing options on a pre-group level, like for example the margin option or rotations, allowing you to customize the group packing process in a detailed manner. So far, we have seen and presented some interesting packing features, but keep in mind that it wasn't the full list. UV Packmaster provides more useful options, giving you precise control over the packing process to you as a user. Let's name a few of them. Setting rotations on a per island basis, packing for a non-square texture, packing with pixel perfect alignment, combining stacking, and packing into a single click operation. Yes, stacking. That's because UV Packmaster is not only a UV packing tool, but also a UV stacking tool. Stacking mode is used for aligning similar UV islands on top of each other based on their shapes, vertex position, or topology. In the border shape option, the packer only considers island borders when determining if islands should be stacked on top of each other. You can actually increase the threshold value if you want this process to be less tolerant regarding the border similarity. The vertex position option is more picky compared to the border shape stacking. You see, it processes and aligns the UV islands if they are similar in all of their vertex positions. You can then check the correct vertex option and the packer will reposition the vertex to match similar islands. You can also lower the value of the vertex threshold to obtain an accurate result. The vertex position mode only checks relative vertex positions when checking if two islands should be stacked but it doesn't check the island topology. The topology stacking option doesn't defer on the vertex position, at least not much. Except, it also checks the topology during the stacking so two islands or more are gonna be aligned together if they have the same vertex position and the same topology. However, this can take more time to process compared to the vertex and border similarities alignment. Other than the main stacking mode, UV Packmaster provides other options for better control over the stacking process. For example, the Adjust Scale option can be applied to all different alignment methods. It allows you to adjust the scale of the UV shell for matching and aligning purposes. When enabled, the packer will stack similar islands even if they differ in scale. You can also enable the flipping so that the packer is also allowed to flip UVs when determining if two islands are similar and should be stacked. And with the Match 3D Access option, you can make UV islands preserve the 3D orientation during stacking, which is really important. And it can be useful when dealing with islands having a lot of axes of symmetry. It means islands can be stacked on top of each other in different orientations. And with this option enabled, the packer will pick orientations which will map the islands to the 3D space in a consistent way. Also by default, the stacking target is picked randomly. You see, there is no special UV island that acts like the target one unless you check the align priority. As you can see, it is very easy to understand. You select the target UV shell, set a priority by numbers, then click on stack. As a result, all the similar islands will stack to that priority island represented by the greatest priority number. Select similar is also a useful option to quickly select UV islands that are not easy to select, especially in a messy situation. It comes with the analogical set of options which drive the stacking process. Generally speaking, UV Packmaster is a really useful plugin for Maya users that can help you speed up your workflow when dealing with UVs. It has many automated modes even for complex 3D models, which can save you a lot of time compared to the Maya UV toolkit. Even the manual workflow, which is recommended in some scenarios, is easy to work with. The packer has a friendly user interface. It provides a fast GPU accelerated packing algorithm using CUDA and Vulkan enabled GPUs, which is the most optimal thing you can use right now. One of the downsides is that you have to load the plugin each time, I mean when you're gonna use it, from the tools in the UV editor. Also, the info or status windows appears automatically after each operation which can be a bit disturbing, especially if you want to exit. 
although UV Pack Master supports Maya 2022 and beyond, however, Maya 22 version is still facing some technical issues. So it is recommended to use Maya 23 to 25 and beyond. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in UV Pack Master 3 for Maya, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.